is Saturday Night Crocheting Live. I have so much to share. We have a little Hobby, Ho Hobby Lobby haul. I went out and about searching frantically for Easter decorations. We're going to share those. I crocheted a bee, which I'll share again in a little bit because nobody's here yet. But I figure, isn't he cute? I just kind of winged him. Did it? Winged him? That. I winged him. Cute. Speaking of, <laughs> this is the husband, Hi. Justin Crochet. Hello. Hello. He's going to be moderating for us tonight nice to see and you. as you guys all filter in i'll go through what we're going to be doing and i will be filtering the hat filtering finishing the hat that i started on live on wednesday morning so i'm making a rainbow bucket beanie hello kennedy nice to see you and let's see that's about it that should fill up our hour pretty well so what's new if you guys have any questions or comments about my patterns or my reviews or anything you've seen lately that I might have tried, I'd love to hear about it. But, hey Debbie, how's it going? I was just showing my St. Patrick's Day bee. Maybe you guys have seen the TikTok bees that everybody's making on TikTok. Ooh, mine doesn't look like that. Mine's huge. Um... <laughs> I, I, swear, I cannot look at him and not I smile. I love the little leprechaun hat. It's great. You like the leprechaun? I kind of winged the leprechaun hat. It's amazing. <laughs> and he is, he's got his little golden wings. And I'm in love. Oh, and of course, he has his little lucky charm butt. Check it out, babe. Babe. <laughs> babe. Isn't it cute? It is oh cute. my gosh, I love him. I didn't overstuff him. I left him really soft, which was nice because I didn't have to use the entire bag of fiber fill. He he's a fiber fill sucker. But I kind of filled him, but he's still squishy, so he'll sit somewhere just nicely. And oh, it's a little pillow. He's like a little pillow or a little yoga bolster. I could use. <laughs> And his wings are so soft. I used Bernat Velvet for the wings. Actually, no, it's Lion Brand Deluxe in their goldenrod color. And then this is, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And so is this. And then the black is also, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. But the hat is actually Red Heart Super Saver because I wanted something stiff enough because I didn't want to stuff it. This collapses completely down. It's not stuffed at all. And I crocheted the eyes. He says, wink. Did he wink at you? <laughs> he winked at you, babe. Oh, wink. hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh my gosh, he makes me so happy. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm going to put him here. Oh, there he is. He, he needs, like, I'm going to be here for the live, too. Is that pretty well centered? Yeah, that works. There he goes. He's just living his best life. Right. Thank you. I love him so much. My pattern, no. Everybody's making these TikTok bees. I can tell you how I made them. I mean, he's super easy. I think the hard part was actually sticking with it as long as I did. Um, the reason he is so big is because I held two strands of I Love This Yarn, Aaron Weight, together. And I used a, gosh, it was a small hook. It was a J hook, which is much smaller. I mean, usually you use an I hook for one strand of I Love This Yarn. So I used a J hook to hold two strands so he would be closed up enough to hold in his stuffing. And he has single crochets throughout. And I just did like my hat patterns where you just increase on a circle until he was 11 stitches. You need to, I don't know if I can, I can do a video on how to make them, but I can't claim that I created it. It's like, there's so many of these bees going around all over TikTok. I just, oh my gosh. And then the wings are just a circle, same as the face, except on the very last row, you just do one all the way around so it kind of curls up. And then you boop, sew those on. His eyes, again, just a circle, but super duper easy. But yeah, I can try. We'll get to that this week. Um, this week I'm also doing ballet slippers for baby because I have a watcher that is expecting a baby girl granddaughter. Isn't he sweet, Tammy? Oh my gosh. And then I use a really, really bright green for his little tush and his little cheeks. This is supposed to be like blush. And this is actually um, two strands of, ooh, I 
can put it all in a basket. I like to keep all the yarn I use in a project in a basket, but uh, I wanted skinny yarn. So wool leg, two strands. I just use a needle and thread for his smile. I didn't want it to be too much because he's already a lot, right? So, oh, I love him. <laughs> but I can show how I did it. So I'm like, TikTok be inspired. But they're all pretty much the same. You make a circle, you make three stripes, you close them up. I closed them up really fast because I wanted his tush to be kind of smaller than his face. And I just winged this. <laughs> you winged it. I winged it. Yeah. <laughs> but I gotta say, I love, a lot of people make them out of the velvet yarns and they look so squishy and wonderful. And I love the way these are feeling. I might need one just out of the velvet yarn because I have a lot of that. Remember when everybody's buying all the velvet yarn? Thank you, Amelia. I know the hat. Oh my gosh. I can definitely show the hat because that I did create. <laughs> I never do patterns on things of other people. Making sure you don't look like you steal patterns from other people is a very big deal. It's like a very big deal. Like you don't want to, I know crochet theoretically, there's only like five stitches, so it's hard to steal, but it's a very touch and go subject. You have to make sure what you're making doesn't look like anybody else's stuff for a while because it's sensitive, if you will. <laughs> I also made this. So there's him. He needs a name. What, what should we name him? He's a St. Patrick's Day B. It'll come to us. Something obvious. I'm sure it's obvious what he should be named, but... Just call him Lucky. Lucky. Oh, I like Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and then I made this. I went and I got some of the chenille yarn over at Walmart. It's just one ball. Actually, I only used like maybe three quarters of the ball, but I wanted a little Easter basket to hold candy. So He holds himself up really well, too. I used an L hook. And he is, he took probably, gosh, how long did I work on this? Maybe 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, it was so fast. When you have big yarn, it's just so fast. So I got him done, and oh my gosh, I just love him. <laughs> so, what else? Oh, and I went shopping. So, just a little shopping. Hobby Lobby. Very little shopping. Pat the bee. Oh, Pat. He's lucky. <laughs> He's Pat. I love it. Hey, Rosanna. How are you? How's the family doing? Oh, awesome. We will see you then. I was just talking. I'm doing a little Hobby Lobby haul. I'm going to finish up the bucket hat with the rainbow colors, although they're looking a little darker than I would have liked at this point. We'll brighten it up with other colors. And I've shown my bee and my bunny cat pretty happy. Saturday night, it's looking good. I have some tea. I don't know if you guys were with me on t Wednesday morning, but I stopped doing coffee on Tuesday and Wednesday was, yeah, I was slow. <laughs> it, was, it was slow going for the vocabulary. I'm just like, what's that word? The. <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> but I'm on peppermint tea right now. And I was just gonna go through some of the things that I got at Hobby Lobby. Now the whole goal of Hobby Lobby was to create Lucky the Pat the Bee. And so I went there and actually I think this came from home because I traded out because I got this. So they don't look very different here. Oh, thank you, thank you. I love the bees, oh my gosh. That's so cute. <laughs> but I got this, and then I got home, and I had this one already, and I just thought that looked way gold until I decided just to use the Lion Brand Velux for his little golden wing. So we went with this instead, which I think is pretty and soft. Have you petted? Have you petted them? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. But <laughs> grab some of this, which is nice. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever use that for anything. This I hardly ever return anything to Hobby Lobby my because i don't know i don't know can you think of anything you could make a mustard bottle a mustard bottle <laughs> hey taylor how's it going <laughs> thanks for joining us i was just showing my bee my little bunny basket 
talking about finishing the hat and going through a little Hobby Lobby haul that I did. I was going through what golds I was going to use for the bee wings. So I did grab this the other day. And then, oh my gosh, aren't they pretty? How pretty <laughs> are they? Oh my gosh, I just saw them. I just thought they were so, so pretty. I'm glad. Then I grabbed some other ones. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. That's yarn related, but it will be yarn related. Oh, my dog just rushed up. He wants them. Here you go, sweetheart. Have some plastic eggs. He's a strange dog. <laughs> yes. Hunter is a strange dog. You're crunching. Sally. He thinks... I like that too. He thinks it might be some sort of potato chips or something. I got Easter blessings. I... No, I don't need it. That's cute. I just thought it was really pretty. It is pretty. And it was probably like $1.50 because everything's on I sale. I can go on the coffee bar. Yeah, that's all the Eastery stuff goes on the coffee bar. There you go. But, and then they had paper grass, which I greatly appreciate because we try and stay away from plastic as much as we can. So paper for the baskets. You like it? Yeah. Crinkles for you. Crinkle, crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> Ooh, and aren't they pretty? They glitter. They sparkle like the stars in the sky. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, they do. Oh, and this. Oh, my gosh. How cute is that? I would love to make some of these. Can I crochet little, little orange balls? Oh, oh, my goodness. Four times. Oh my gosh, how many babies are popping up everywhere? I'm looking at my son like, so you guys? And they're, no, they're totally, they're not having babies. They are talking about buying a house though, mm, yes. which kind of like makes it sound like they might be considering soon. But so far no babies, but there are a couple people who are having babies that are viewers and one of them asked me, she found out it's a girl, grand, a grandchild, and she wants me to do some baby booties. So there will be baby booties this month if you're interested. So it's baby booty time. I have about three patterns on the blog and they all need to come over to the YouTube channel. So I figure it's a great time. Does she know if it's boy or girl? It's a girl, which okay. is good because one of them is ballerina booties. So oh, it looks like go. little ballerina shoes. And then I saw somebody converted something very similar for like holidays. So I was thinking maybe some St. Patrick's Day boobies. I'm sure it'll be too early for her baby, but super excited. Oh my gosh. Little tiny. It's so good to make small things. How did your hats turn out? It's true. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to find crochet boy patterns because I guess people just don't think they're as fun. Oh, awesome booties too. But um, I went to, I was having a boy when I learned to crochet. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of toys. And, oh, what can he do you say? Oh, well, as far as patterns for boys, I ended up making a lot of hats, like just plain hats in boy colors using Simply Soft for new babies because they just crochet up so much nicer because the Red Heart Super Saver, everything puffy just looks so big on them. But Simply Soft from Karen turns out really nicely. So I do that. Oh, hello, Beverly, and welcome. You're doing great so far, and we're glad to have you. I made a swaddle blanket. I made a, oh, I made a swaddle blanket. I make, when somebody's having a boy, I make, I crochet a blanket with their name in it. So like filet crochet with the open squares. And then I, with solid, with their letter, with the letters of their name, if it's not too long. The longest I've done so far was, I think, Averly or something. It was like eight letters. That's a lot to crochet into a blanket. At that point, highly suggest initials. And then, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then, um, oh, anytime. But, um hats just plain ones i have a hat pattern on the blog that i need to bring over slowly i'm bringing everything over to youtube it's just a matter of time but it's a newborn hat where it looks like they're wearing headphones which is light blue so i consider that kind of a boy pattern it's of course all the patterns are for boys or girls it depends on the yarn that you use but plain hats Blankets, of course, in whatever color you want. I don't think anybody minds having a little bit of pink in a boy blanket. 
just because, I mean, unless they're really big sticklers, a lot of people are liking silver and gray right now too. That's really big on the layette. People are just loving that neutral, soft tone. What is your dog doing? Hunter, make good choices, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Izzy, go get your new friends. I want to share. Huh? One of the babies. We do have babies. Our family grew by three this week. Um. <laughs> but um, we have, um, what else is good for boys? A lot of toys. The rattles and stuff. And any booties, of course. Always eating out of cat bowl. Oh, he's so naughty. Our dog's eating the cat food. And then, um, ooh, little baby. Like, people, a lot of people do cloth diapering at the beginning. <laughs> oh, that'd be so pretty. Navy blue is really good. Unless, you, unless it's trying for your eyes. In that case, a nice medium blue is always fine and it's so much easier on your eyes. Depends on how big you're going to make it. I know for me, I think my biggest problem with navy blue and black is that I wear a lot of black. So it kind of disappears on my lap. So I notice I have to hold it up. <laughs> the eyes are going fast. Oh, you have a great night, Rosanna. Oh my gosh. So these are the new friends. Come on over, sweetheart. We are having our chicken year. So <laughs> don't hurt. Relax. Come here, Karen. This is Karen. She's amazing. She is a, a she's, Karen. She's, she's got a lot of spunk. And here is... Brownie. Brownie, yeah. Yeah, it was Donna. Oh, Kelly. Yeah. Tracy. The dog loves the chickens. You got her? And then this one over here. Nug. That's Nug. He's over my yarn. It's making me very nervous. But this is them. These are our first chickens ever. So they're spoiled rotten so far. They're sitting happily under their heat lamp. They're about three days old, I believe. <laughs> I oh, can't. you've Careful. upset her. Careful. She wants down. One chicken. Thank you. One of the chicken. Oh, they're getting up. But yeah, super, super cute. <laughs> we can't wait to see what they grow Someone into. Said, Aw. Yeah. Here you go, sweetheart. You forgot a chicken. Oh. There you go. Aw, Dixie. Our dog Dixie is such a mother. She protects them from everything. And our dog Hunter just keeps licking his lips. It's really off putting. I know the black one is so cute. It's going to be when it grows up, if if it follows suit with what it should, it's going to be one of those chickens with the red faces with the black and white stripes all over its feathers, the really busy looking ones. I'm super excited. So, right. but I guess they take a while. It's like 18 weeks before they're full grown, so we have a long road ahead of us. We're just hoping Yeah, we got this. We're we're staying calm. Back, Justin, have a seat. <laughs> We're, it's a madhouse. Go lay down. Thank you. Sorry, my dog is being crazy. Okay, so back to the Hobby Lobby haul. Oh my gosh, I got these. How cute are those? Oh my gosh. I was, I think the Easter stuff just got me this week. I don't know what happened. And then I decided I need a sweater. And I broke into this for the bees blush, but I need an, a completely bright green sweater. Hi, Amelia, how are you? Oh my gosh, but I need this in a sweater. I have no idea why. <laughs> it's very cute. And we'll work on that this week. So, because you can't really wear this. Oh, <laughs> no, that's perfect. I thought you said you're planning on making a baby. It comes up as two separate lines. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Kennedy's making a baby blanket 36 by 36. Cool. That's going to be awesome. Um, as far as baby blankets go, I really like Red Heart Soft. Um, not Red Heart Love. 
but Red Heart Soft is a really beautiful, it just lays so beautifully. Unless you're looking for something like that's really going to put up with like their growth. If you want it to be like their blankie all the way until their toddler years, go Red Heart Super Saver. Um, highly suggest it. It'll last forever. <laughs> Do not believe the animal related antics going on around me right now. There's just, there's, there's a lot of stress. He nipped at me. He's never done that. I uh, you know. My dog just nipped at my husband. And we've had him for 11 years, and he has never nipped at my husband. So my husband's glaring at him, and my dog's trying to make Hi. eye contact with the wall. And it's, it's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm between a, a really big emotional exchange. <laughs> and then today I was at Walmart, and apparently I'm loving this color. It's actually not. This one's very orange, and this is very purple. I just had to have it. It's Mulberry Red Heart Super Saver. And, oh my gosh, it's going to be nice. I'm going to make some socks for my daughter-in-law. Don't tell her. I love the neon really green, cool too. Color. I have no reason to make an acrylic. I'm in Texas, and I'm making a sweater out of Aaron White acrylic yarn. I'm like, don't you love you? But I do love me, and I still need that sweater. So, <laughs> but I'm going to get on it. I saw a pattern. But they, it wasn't actually a pattern. Somebody had just made it. So I'm going to try. And, it had a lot of ribbing and went right down to the waist. Oh, I hope it's helpful. But I highly suggest it's a great yarn. It holds up really well. Unless you want it to be really strong. And then just go with the Red Heart Super Saver. I know it seems, some of the colors seem a little stiff. But once they're washed a few times, they're super soft. And it will put up with anything. It's post-apocalyptic. You can bomb that blanket. And it's not nothing will phase it whatsoever it's amazing <laughs> and then oh i also got but i used up the green <laughs> the husband is having a, a very quiet conversation with my dog so i got the green that's on the dog on the bee and i got some white for the bee <laughs> and Ooh, I did get to use my new Premier Basics from my Hershinger's haul, which was amazing. So, super excited about that. And it feels like it's going to hold up really well. So, okay, I'm excited. Now we've gone through the hauls. I get to go back to my hat now. So, if you guys were here a couple days ago, I started a rainbow bucket hat. So, I need to figure out what color is next. Now, do you guys have any questions about anything? Because I'm going on to turquoise, and it's like my favorite. You okay with the dog on? Mm-hmm. Come on over. Come on over. Share your feels. Ah, yes. He's a dog. Mm, he nipped at you. Yes. How do you feel about that? Well, yeah. I mean, he did it for a good reason. Yeah, he's trying to get to you. He loves me. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, nothing was going to stop him and from I, getting to I me. I blocked the area up so that he couldn't get to her because he always interrupts. Yeah, we have a lot of wires <laughs> going on a lot around us right now. So he wanted to be here and he was not going to stop. But he's naughty. He just ate cat food and he's... then came over and nipped at me. So mm -hmm. what, what do we do? Come here. Come here. <laughs> you want to show everybody your shame? This is, this is his... I'm, I've that's, been bad face. That's the... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a conversation later, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> he totally looks like he knows what you're saying. He's like, oh crud. <laughs> he knows he's been bad. He knows he's done wrong. He does know he's bad, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, babe? Don't worry. I'll help you out. <laughs> 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 he says, Daddy's mad. <laughs> Daddy's mad. Uh, okay, go lie down. He's been here for 11 years. You'd think he would know the rules. Now, I was making my hat. I need to add on some turquoise because I don't want to go straight to green from here. So, it was going to be a rainbow where I had red at the top and it went down to purple, but somehow I just automatically grabbed the purple. Have you ever just automatically grabbed the color so I figured it was correct so the next one I went to blue 
but I only did one row because I think I want to do two rows of turquoise. Honey, it's distracting when you try to like browbeat the dog. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> my bad. I don't want to look at him like that. It's going to make everybody upset and feel awkward. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he is a naughty little thing. It's true. He's had a really hard time with the chickens. He wants to eat them very badly. Our dog Dixie loves the chickens. Yes. So she is. She's mothering them. Yeah, she's mothering them aggressively. She's just like. And when Hunter goes near the chickens, my. Well, that was Hunter, brother. Yeah, that was a look of fear. It was, <laughs> it was sad, right? He's, it's not even like terror. Like, my husband is the most even-tempered person in the world. I don't think you've gotten mad at him for, like, five years. No. It's it probably been... because he nipped at you. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he... And so, the fact that he knows he's in trouble is just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I did wrong. I know I did wrong. How do I not have any turquoise in here? Justin, how is there not turquoise in here? Okay, so I know I want to go to the green after this. I think that'll travel well. We'll make it happen, right? If it's on a hat together, it matches automatically. Because it's on the same hat, right? Okay, I'm working with K-hook? That's not right. Am I really on a K-hook? That doesn't make sense. That's the hook that was in here, but that feels wrong. I am travel... I'm in a world trapped by... If I had to pick one Jan that was my most favorite... Do you mean yarn? I have a feeling she means yarn. Okay. My favorite. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did. Okay. I have to have every color of Red Heart Super Saver. That's just a strange compulsion, though. That's your most used yarn. It's definitely my most used yarn favorite though like expensive yarn i love dream and color smooshy with cashmere and my favorite fiber is alpaca i think my favorite yarn is probably lion brand woolies so my most used is red heart super saver and i have to have every color i don't have to have every color of of woolies because i don't know i just go and i buy what i need of it for the projects that I use but if you're like if I'm making a hat I love woolies you can wash it you can dry it your husband can't kill it when you're not looking <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> he's a filthy beast my bad he's a filthy beast uh, well I'm clean I put it in the washer yeah he goes and he gets them dirty and then he washes them yeah and I'm like you weren't supposed to wash her <laughs> it hurts my soul Someday Oops. our house will be full of yarn that could easily be destroyed. No, that's not true. Okay. Probably not. I mean, unless we move somewhere cold. Because, hi Angie, how's it going? What you working on today? But unless we move somewhere colder than Texas, I mean, wool is wool. It's toasty. Um, but I love alpaca. What was I working on? Oh, a J-hook. I don't know if I'm going to find one. I'm having a hard time. I want to... Ooh! You're green. Are you Jay? You're an I. You're an I. Here's a J. Okay, there we go. Because I can't believe that I was using worsted weight yarn on a hat on a K-hook. I just don't buy that. I think that was misplaced. Oh. Hi, babe. Ready? No. Please don't throw that end hook at me. My son was about to impale me with an end hook. <laughs> In the most loving way. He was like, you need a hook. Here you go. So I'm just attaching. So what are you guys working on lately? I hear baby blankets. And I'm doing half double crochets. 
I'm at that point where I'm just going straight down so each stitch will get one and I forget how many stitches I'm at actually. What I miss, babe? Um, Angie says hi. Hi, how's it going, Angie? And Emma says, what's your least favorite yarn? Ooh. Angie, let's mm. know what you're making. I'm making a hat, just a bucket hat. It's going to come down and then flare out a little bit like a sun hat, and it's going to be a rainbow. So I'm working from purple, and the bottom will be red. And then I do not know if I'll do another white row at the bottom of red, though. That's a big maybe. Honestly, I thought it was going to be brighter than this. The more I look at this, the darker it looks. But if I make it quickly, I'll just make another one with a brighter rainbow. Um, least favorite yarn. I'm thinking hard. There is a, it's really strange. Did they change Craft Smart yarn, the value? Because I've gotten a few balls of Craft Smart yarn value yarn at Michael's lately, and it's really soft and nice, and the colors are amazing. But my old Michael's, before we moved here, they only had maybe eight colors of Craft Smart, and it was really, really scratchy and bad. But now, the Walmart that I'm closer to has, no joke, probably 80 colors of Craft Smart yarn. Like more than Red Heart Super Saver, for sure. And it's really soft. Oh, oh my gosh. When are you going to have them done? That's so cool. And Taylor's making a cross Bible bookmarks. Like a fillet crochet with thread. I love those. I want one of those. You want can a Bible one? bookmark? I can yeah. do that. That's awesome. He keeps whispering. I'm not sure why. I can't help it. You can. I feel like I'm interrupting, you know. You're you're not. <laughs> Speak to me, Justin. I'm just working my way around. Before I choose my next color. It's Saturday night. Usually we come live on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Central. So it's kind of weird to be on Saturday night. Oh, a lacy vest. Oh my gosh. What kind of boho shawl? That sounds amazing. Something open. I have so many things I want to make right now, but I do need to make everything that I want to bring over to the new blog from the old blog because my pictures were from 2012 on a phone. <laughs> they don't transfer over to a new blog very well. The pictures just look sad and dark. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm just saying hi. Hello. <laughs> so, what would you like made for you this summer? Any cotton hats, anything? Um, I definitely want one of those bookmarks. Okay. You need a Bible bookmark. Yeah. You've seen my struggle with the bookmarks lately. Yeah. I've been using guitar picks as my bookmarks. Guitar picks. <laughs> he chooses ads for things, and it's always the most awkward ad. Oh my gosh, Expression Fiber Arts. She's so amazing. I don't think she always does her own. Like she's, I think that sometimes it's hers and sometimes she has other people make patterns for her yarns because she sells the most beautiful yarn in the most beautiful colorways. Her solids and her colorways because she'll choose like a flower or like a picture with ice or a picture with unicorns or something and make a colorway with all those colors in it and it's so pretty. I've just adored her forever. I love her YouTube channel too. She has some great tutorials. I always forget her name. Part of me wants to say Candy, but that is incorrect. Talia? Oh my gosh. I just know she's Expression Fiber Arts. <laughs> but I love her channel. 
and she seems so sweet. I figured out what I wanted. Oh, what else do you want for summer? I want a Robin Hood tunic. A Robin Hood tunic? Yes, so that I can go out and shoot the bows like Robin Hood. Okay. <laughs> Does it need to be green? Yes. Okay. Yeah, hunter green. So he needs a green tunic that looks like Robin Hood so he can go out shooting his bow. We like to shoot bows. We're big into archery. I yeah. like it. Well, we're, we have a little bit of land now that we can actually shoot, so it's nice. Mm -hmm. Except he lost an arrow first try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just gone. <laughs> Hit the wall and disappeared. Have you guys ever done archery? <laughs> and if you've done archery, arrows are made of vapor. They disappear. They can go into the ground completely parallel with the grass. Mm -hmm. You'll find it months later with just a tiny tail sticking out. Just like a little bit of a long arrow. And it's like sticking out. And you'll find it months later. Mysterious. But archery is so fun. Oh, Shandy. Yes, gracious. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. You just have to get down with the seven blankets. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Do you have a certain cutoff date when you need to have them done? I guess nobody will need them through the summer, huh? So, having them done by fall would be nice. Oh, full sized. Oh, so they're like big. Oh. That's a lot of work. That is so much work. <laughs> that is amazing. I haven't made many blankets. My goal this year is to definitely make more wearables and more blankets. But first, I would love to get through all of the blog stuff that I need to do this month. So that the rest of the year can just be fun crochet. <laughs> I'm working on so many projects that I just don't finish because I have to do stuff. I'm making a robe. Oh, you have a little sister that's 10. That's so cool. 10's a fun age. Mr. over here is 11 and my older son is 24. He's often married and such. Working on my next row. I love turquoise, so it's definitely getting two rows. I definitely need some cotton hats because the sun here in Texas on dark hair. Yeah. It's like, you know, the, the asphalt. Sun on anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot here. We're planning for a hot tech a hot summer because we had such a cold winter. Not the whole thing, but you heard about the snow. It was a wild time. Oh, that's so sweet. My son told me he wants a blanket, so I tried to knit it. Yeah, that'll be a bit. I should just make him a crocheted one. I mean, it'll still take quite a while. It's still a ton of work, but knitting, I'm the slowest knitter. Oh, so warm ones. Are they heavy? Did you use acrylic? Acrylic is so good for blankets so they don't end up, because some people make them out of cotton. And those things are like 20 pounds. And you put them in the dryer, they take forever. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Oh, I was a bit late too, to be perfectly honest. This is, did we do last week on Saturday or is this our first Saturday night? We did last week also. This yeah. was, so this is our second one and honestly, Saturday gets away from you, doesn't it? <laughs> it starts, and then all of a sudden it just keeps on going. Yeah, you see the clock and you're like, hey, wait a minute. Whoa, <laughs> where did 7 o'clock come from? <laughs> I'm just having some peppermint tea and water. My dog is starting to snore. She's a scent hound, and they are just the biggest couch hounds ever. Right around this time, she's like, are we going to bed now? And it's only about 8 o'clock here, 7.45. How's the chicken been? Yeah. Chicken okay? It's out. Oh, yeah. Cool. Can't 
and he says she's 13 and you're her favorite because she's on YouTube. Aw, thank you! Hey, Trisha. Oh, it's Trisha! She got our package that we sent. Oh, cool. Thank you for the email letting me know. So many people don't let me know and I just wonder. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope it got there. Otherwise, there's somebody there shaking their fist angry at me for never sending something. I bet they do. You don't have to mail them, do you? Oh my gosh. I love this time change, though. It's the saddest thing for me when we fall back. Hey, Laurel. How's it going? Hello. Thanks for joining us. I'm just working on a bucket hat. I was showing everybody my TikTok bee. I call it a TikTok bee because that's where I saw them originally. But I made a TikTok bee for St. Patrick's Day. He's so cute. He makes me very happy. He's huge. He's basically a pillow. I'm wondering how we're going to... He might have to stay out all year long. He's huge. <laughs> He'll bring us luck. Yes. <laughs> now you got to crochet a little pot of gold. Oh, I need an Easter one. <laughs> I don't know if he'll be as big, but definitely. And then I made a little basket. Little bunny ears for Easter, just for sitting at the front door, kind of holding stuff. I used the chenille from Walmart. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think it's called chenille heather, but really soft. This took probably about 10 minutes to make. It was nothing at all, but love it. And then I did a little bit of haul. I was showing everybody. I got this super, super bright green yarn, and I need a sweater out of it. Because, I mean, if you saw this, wouldn't you say that should totally be right by my face, where it could be most flattering, right? I, I make no sense. I make no <laughs> sense. <laughs> but it, it works, as long like as you're it. having fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I grabbed this basket. I think this was TJ Maxx, but... It's Easter, so this is where all the yarn that I'm using goes. So, I'm excited. Easter. Did you give anything up for Lent, babe? I'm only having one cup of coffee a day now. There it is. There we go. What is it you're supposed to give up, isn't it? I don't think it's supposed... I don't think there's anything you're supposed to give up. Oh, so you think just you choose just... something... Yeah. Gotcha. Although it seems like a lot of people don't do meat. That might be the Catholics. They don't do meat for Lent because there's a whole lot of fish fries around here on Fridays and such. That's still meat. It's not meat. Oh, okay. It's gotcha. fish. <laughs> the, fish, the fish say it's still meat. The restaurants say it's not. <laughs> That's like when I uh, got that sandwich in in Whitesboro. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. My husband is gluten free. <laughs> we are those people in Texas. Nobody understands. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband goes into this and we're, it's a little town and it was a sandwich shop in the little town. And the other thing the sandwich shop did was cut up meat that yeah, people had butchery. hunted. Yeah. yeah, they were like a butcher. But we were visiting the town. They have a yarn shop. It's called exotic yarns really pretty so we're out and about for a yarn crawl we're in there we get a sandwich and my husband tells him that he's gluten free so he told him that the bread is white so there's no wheat in it <laughs> so he's like white bread and my husband just, we just took it of course and he just took the bread off so. <laughs> but he was so sweet <laughs> like you're so awesome just eat the sandwich Justin <laughs> It was amazing. Yeah, he doesn't have celiac or anything. He um had some back pain, and I guess a lot of it had to do with inflammation because he stopped eating gluten, and it went away like a day or two later. Yeah, sciatica. Yeah, he had sciatica really bad. Oh, that's awesome! What did it look like, Laurel? Oh wait, no, wait. Oh, yeah, that was Laurel. What did it look like? How cool. 
Aw, that's going to be awesome. And she'll be able to think of you whenever she wears it. I'm attaching bright, bright green to my turquoise. Well, not bright, bright green. It's kind of a grass green. It had a fun name. I forget what it was. Did I miss something, sweetie? Tracy says, I've been doing some spring cleaning. Has anyone started oh. that task yet? I have. Which, yeah, I, you kind of do it year round though. And I love to throw things away. Yeah. But I have definitely started spring cleaning and I got stuff to clean the car because somehow the car got super cluttered this year. I don't even know how. We haven't been going out. Maybe that's it. We haven't been going out much. So things just stayed in it? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, oh. So I got some wax and I got some. I like to clay the car. It's like a clay wax. You do it with detailing spray and it makes it so shiny. So I'm really excited. The weather's finally getting good. Ooh, what I miss, babe? Uh, oh, she found a crossbody hippie bag. Mm hmm. And I think that's for the strap. Like That's so cool. Is it like a messenger bag? I love those. Sometimes when I'm getting rid of stuff, I get rid of just a little too much. And one of the things that was too much is I got rid of a messenger bag that I just loved. And now I totally miss it. Don't you hate that? What's a messenger bag? It's the ones that have like... They go, they're crossbody and they're really big, like a big rectangle. And oh, then it has I gotcha. a flap. Yeah, the big pouch. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. I love that. And for some reason, <clears throat> I got rid of it in a, I don't know, just a big bout of throw everything away. Yeah, we have a policy. If you don't use it, lose it. Yeah. And I didn't use it for a while. But then, as soon as it was gone, I went to get it. And it was gone. I'm like, uh. <laughs> it's the same with the yarn I have to see the yarn stash it has to be up on a shelf or else I will buy more of the same yarn what's up babe? um let's see Royal's project oh, she's talking about like the old 70s crossbody with the long body oh my gosh how cool that's awesome. We should crochet one. I could totally make a crossbody messenger bag for me. Maybe granny squares. Granny squares are good for everything. If it hangs to your knees, do you accidentally kick it? Um. Or is it like bigger than that? You wouldn't play soccer wearing it. Gotcha. Like you can walk with it. Mm -hmm. But if you were running, it would definitely get some trajectory. <laughs> <laughs> if you have too much in it, it's definitely going to, yeah, no. So it's one of those things that if you need to run, you, you grab in your hand while you're running. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My husband's theory is if you can't run with it, don't wear it. Yes. Shoes too. I'm like, these are gorgeous. He's yeah. like, but could you run in those? Can you run in that? <laughs> 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 oh right there's always volunteers are you part of a church or any groups like that we're not pushers but that's where we see our kids in texas church is like what do you call it your social like i mean we're in our 40s mm -hmm. before finding a church there's like literally nobody we talk to our neighbors don't communicate yeah. <laughs> it's really weird in texas so far we've lived in four houses i'm thinking one two three we've had four houses in texas since we've been here in the last eight years and the neighbors have never really been communicative. It's really strange. We came from California where even though, I mean, I know California has kind of a rap for like whether they're sociable or not. Our neighbors were at least communicating. Um, 
But here, I think most people just talk to people at church because there is like a church on every corner in Texas. What do you think, babe? That's about right. Yeah. And it's almost like people are like, well, I'll just see you in church. Yeah. They're kind of <laughs> like, I'll see the people at church. <laughs> um, like, they'll wave since I'm, oh my gosh. Do I need another row of the bright green? Yes. Yeah, a little yeah. thicker. What do you guys think? You gonna go that light color too? I might do one of the super bright green. Oh my gosh. My hip said, oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I will do another row of the bright green. Oh, home offices. Oh, you're in Texas too? Yeah, there's lots and lots of churches. There wasn't nearly as many in California. And we found that, like, people at schools, like, the parents at schools talked a bit more. And, like, you could have a social circle. But in Texas, if you don't have a church, you really don't have a social circle. <laughs> it's like... Oh, that's really cool, Lauren. Oh, what'd she say? She was a caring tree in our community for disadvantaged kids. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I love crocheting dolls. We have the Children's Hospital here in Austin and Dallas, too, if they're in there. Mm -hmm. they, I'm sure they'd be happy to have, take That's donations true. and stuff. That's true. I always wonder if all of the yarn is okay for everybody. Hey, Creative Hello, Mommy. Hello, Creative Mommy. I'm making a bucket hat in rainbow colors. Forget the fact that it's completely disappearing on my white wall. There we go. Um, I'm going for a second color. I'm going for a rainbow. And we're just... Fading down from purple to green. And next is going to be this extremely bright green, I think. Because then I can go into my yellows. I don't know. I don't think we can do gold. Gold and yellow. And then butter yellow. Or bright, bright green. Ooh, I love lapkins. Oh, that is amazing. Oh. We should do that. We do have a local shelter. That would be nice. Yeah. We could do some blankies and hats and such. Everybody always needs a hat, right? Yes. In Texas, like, you need a hat even when it's hot because it's hot. <laughs> really, really toasty. <laughs> but, yeah, I love the... um. Oh gosh, I lost a word. The donations and the charity projects are so awesome. Because so much of the time I make things and then it just goes into a box. Ah, oh, there's so much kindness out there. Mm-hmm, it's true. Just working my way around. Oh, and as far as what we made, I did share a little bit ago my TikTok beads. I'm still I'm still showing him off here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of him. He's massive. Please ignore the background sound if you can hear my hound dog snoring. Hey she Dixie, you good? <laughs> <laughs> can you hear her, sweetie? No. Okay, cool. Making sure the microphone's not picking her up. <laughs> but isn't he precious? I'm really way too attached to him already. I finished him this morning. So he's kind of like that thing that you made last that you're like, oh, I love it. So he's going to probably be out year round because he's just lucky, right? Look at the smile. And I might need to make an Easter one. I'm thinking one that looks kind of like an Easter egg. Maybe. It could be good, or just one covered in flowers. I'm not sure. What would an Easter bee look like? Um, Rainbowy, pink and white, maybe. Oh, like pastels. Yeah, Creative Mommy uh, bought that yarn and made a hamster. Oh my gosh! But what yarn? Oh, this green yarn, yeah. the bright one. The St. Patty's hamster. Oh, that's so cute. I like hamsters. Tiny. 
Anybody have any plans? Oh, the spring green. I love that. The Red Heart Super Saver spring green. It's amazing. I might have some in this basket somewhere. Laura else says pink, yellows, and flowers on the body. Oh my gosh. Or maybe just one flower on the tushy. I'm not sure. And then Tracy says, make the same one. Just put an Easter egg on it. <laughs> 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 That'd be so cute. Or I can make some elaborate Easter bonnet. <laughs> Do you want your pillow to sit on, sweetie? No, I'm okay. Thank okay, you. Doc. We are on the floor. We are most comfy on the floor. We always laugh at the fact that as adults, we have to buy a house full of furniture because family. But we'd be happiest just sitting on the floor. It's true. <laughs> Justin, you're just a big hippie. I, I didn't sleep on a bed until we got married. That's true. I dragged you up off the floor. That's true. <laughs> oh my goodness, I could make wings that look like flowers. That is a such a good cute ideas. idea. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. A little hat with like the like an open Easter egg. <gasps> That's amazing, like a little crown. That'd be so cute. I'm gonna have to do that. Great, these blog crochets are never gonna get done. Is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I will do the baby booties, because I said I would. And then I need to do a baby blanket and make the PDF patterns that go with them. Because so many times the addresses get changed for the blog addresses. And it's just so much easier if they're on PDF. Boop. I'm almost done. Super excited. Have to pick a green or a yellow to move on to, though. What I miss? Oh, Ray Lonely says the bees. And now hamsters are taking over. Yes. I want a velvety hamster. I'd love to see your hamster. Did you post it on Instagram or anywhere? I love hamsters. Oh, oh, I went too far. Too many stitches. Let's see. You were too lost on the thought of hamsters. I was. I thought of hamsters and just kept going. <laughs> know what I mean? Hi. Hi. Okay. So I finished my green. And then I threw a crochet hook. So I finished my green. Mmm. To do bright green. So I have to end up at red. You have to end up at red? Yes. Because it's rainbow. There'll be some orange. Whoa. Some green. There'll be some yellow. Or some yellow. And some red if I own any red Izzy my darling can you grab me some red I'll get it what uh, brand do you want um red heart super saver or whatever looks a lot like this okay so I'm pulling out colors here It's just one of those years for pets, am I right? I was at the store and we've been saying we're gonna do chickens for a while. I showed my chickens a few minutes ago. I brought them out. But I've been saying we're gonna do chickens for a while and it just seems we're gonna be home a lot still for the next like several months. So it seems like a good year to do the chickens. It just felt right. So I went ahead and just grabbed them and all of their accoutrements. They're delivered. Thank you, it's beautiful. He brought me some red. I think it's cherry. Yep, cherry red. So, I was pulling out some colors. I'm gonna do red. And then I have to choose an orange. Stuff's going on over there. So here's this. Some of this. 
or I could do the bright green. Yeah, I think I'll do the bright green instead. So I was trying to see if I should go to a goldeny brown color or a bright, bright green color. So bright green. I'm starting with my slip knot. Locating wherever I threw my hook. I'm using a J hook. Oh, uh, we're thinking someday we might do a farm. It looks like so much work. I love the rainbow colors, Tracy. They make me so happy. And with spring and everything coming, yeah. She's saying that she would love, Tracy would love to be on a farm. And, but yeah, it looks like so much work. <laughs> we do want to have a farm, but we, have, we want to have very minimal amount of animals. We're not lazy. It's just they require constant attention. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I would love to have goats. Goats are great because they can yeah. kind of just do their own thing. They're so you just go and take care of them every once in a while. Yeah. So chickens and goats and maybe one cow if she was really personable. You know, not like an antisocial cow. I'm going to want to do pictures amazing. with the cows. I love cows. Oh, do you find them? I love rainbows after the rain, too. Yeah, and then it just looks like a ton of work in any kind of weather that is thrown at you. I think that's the part that worries me most, you know. Yeah. The work in the cold. I have fears. Oh, are the billy goats mean? Boy goats, you had goats growing up. Boy mm -hmm. goats are mean? I don't remember the boy goats very much. I only, I was very small. I wonder if your mom even had boy goats. She had to have, because she had babies. Oh, there it is. So. A lot of times they have a boy goat come and visit to make the babies. And it's possible, I, I didn't really ask. At least from what I've seen, because we kind of, do they smell awful? <laughs> I bet they do. Far away from the house. Yeah, all farm animals. I have smell ends. Awful. I'm gonna go ahead and snip those. That bugs me while I'm crocheting. I've already crocheted over them. It was a mean. <laughs> oh no! Boy goats are mean. We'll put them in there with Hunter. Like horses. My husband was thrown by a horse. And now he has an unhealthy obsession with yes. them being mean animals, which was, is not true. I was thrown from a horse on a farm, and I was not happy because I was small. I have but, a feeling it was because of his brothers. He was really well, it was, little. It was my cousins, and if they weren't there, that horse was actually coming after me. <laughs> he did not like me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't trust horses anymore. You're always hearing about when horses attack people. <laughs> I've never heard of that. What did you do to that horse? I got on his back. I said no. It's, it didn't like <laughs> you. So now he's like, horses are mean. I'm like, please don't tell my son that. You're creating unnatural, like. <laughs> horses sound awesome. You got a free cow? Oh, uh, cow Christmas decorations. I'm like, oh, a free cow. Oh my gosh. I'll. They're so cute. We have a ton of cows here because, you know, like I said, Texas. There's a lot of cows here. And, oh my gosh, they're just adorable. We take drives, and I just, every time we see a cow, I'm just like, it's the most beautiful thing in the my world. cows are adorable. We had... Anything in a baby is adorable, though. Yeah. You can look at baby snakes, and you're like, oh, they're cute. No. <laughs> I don't have, like, an unnatural fear of snakes. I have a natural fear of snakes. They're terrifying. I I hear you. I too would be my husband's wood shop would be a cow house. And it's not very big. Yeah. <laughs> we did a video yesterday. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I miss stuff. Horses can have an attitude. Really? Yes. Read it to me, baby. I look weird just looking. Uh, horse, never, never, never. Nice and loud, nice and loud. <clears throat> Once a certain animal has wronged you, it's difficult to ever want to be around them. Uh -huh. Which is true. 
And then uh, Creative Mommy says her uncles wanted to eat the cow. Um, or else I <laughs> had a calf that looked like the City Slickers calf, which is extremely cute. Aww. Amelia. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Amelia. Loves baby lambs. Oh, me too. And then uh, Trish says, baby calves have the most gorgeous eyes. They're so darling. Oh, I bet. Because we drive around and we see the cows and they're just so pretty. And they're they're so sweet, too. Mm -hmm. They'll follow you and just... They prance around and have fun. Hush. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The baby chicks follow me. It's pretty amazing. We took them out. They're two days old now. Well, we figured they were one day old when we bought them. And we got them yesterday? Uh, yes. Day before yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. Ooh. Oh my gosh. A baby monkey. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I've seen a baby monkey. I don't think I have either. Oh, that's got to be cute. That'd be trouble. Right? Where would we have to go to have a baby monkey? That's like Costa Rica or something. I have no idea. <laughs> Where'd mom and dad move? Costa Rica to have baby monkeys. It would happen. <laughs> oh. Oh, you chase the chickens around? Oh. They're so cute. Did you guys see the baby chickens? Were you all here for it? I brought them out for a minute. Honey, honey, bring out the chickens. You could just bring one. Which one would you want me to bring? I think brownie. We have a fluffy black one, a fluffy yellow one, and a Russian Orlov. Ask them what they want to see. <laughs> um... He says, which one do you want to see? The black one, the yellow one, or the brown one? <laughs> yeah, totally. We will check out Monkey Jason. Oh my gosh. Trouble. That's going to be so bad if we become obsessed with baby monkeys. <laughs> It's really cute that chickens are actually a lot smarter than you think they're. Any animal. Oh, grab really the is. brown one, sweetie. Yeah. Get brownie. Okay. Brownie's name, well, it was going to be Donna, Kelly, and Brenda. And then Donna turned into a really, really cranky chicken. She's just the bossiest little thing ever. She's two days old. She's this big. And she's just <laughs> pecking at all the other chickens and pushing them over and stepping on them. she has five them. toes. She has five toes. Turns out some breeds of chicken have five toes, thank goodness. Otherwise, I thought we got a broken chicken. And so we named her Karen. And then he renamed Kelly Brownie. And this is her. My hound loves her. There she is. She's so Sweet. Oh my god. Yes, the pecking order has been established. Karen's on top of the entire house. <laughs> Hi there. Although we're not aware yet if it's Karen or Hi, Finn. Hi, Nanny. Oh, she had one hatch in her hand once. Oh, that's awesome. They do have such personality. I've never seen a Doma Nectar. Isn't he? She's sweet. She must be really tired. She's not even thinking, but she's just talking. <laughs> Little ASMR for chicks. She's so cute. Is that her tweeting or is that one of the other ones? That is her. That's her. She's so soft yeah. at her tweeting right now. She's amazing. <laughs> but yes, the other one's all black, and then we have an all yellow one. And then this is a Russian Orlov. So she's going to be all brown and white stripies like her feathers right there, but she'll be all over. So yeah. We figured this is our year for raising chicks. So <laughs> me too. It's just the sweetest little thing. And they're going to grow so fast. They're going to be six times this size in no time at all. I think like. Four weeks, they're rather tall. Not huge, of course. They won't be full grown until 18 weeks. That's what they said. But yeah, she's just the sweetest little thing. But we're really excited for chickens. <laughs> Here you go, sweetheart. She is tired as can be. She's not even thinking about jumping around. Just a cuddle. She says, I, I like this. 
Could, yes. could you put her in the little basket? She, he says, can I put her in the basket? You know, she, she's a chick in, in a basket. <laughs> you feel better? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did Nanny say? Um. Oh, his name was Sydney. They do have so much personality. It's hilarious. They're just so funny. But Karen, oh my goodness, she's going to be... And there's always the chance that Karen will turn into... Ken. A Ken. Because <laughs> Karen stands differently. And I know you can't really tell. It's really hard to tell if it's a boy or a girl when they're first out. But there's always that chance. And she's just... Oh, this is Karen. Hey! sweetie <laughs> Karen Karen is a Karen has opinions yes he's a cusser she's a cusser <laughs> we took her outside today and she just had opinions she just walked up and she started yelling at our stair <laughs> what's the matter are you tired <laughs> yeah so we'll see how they look when they grow. But hopefully she's okay. She pecks at everything. We're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, she might be a Ken. She might be. She might turn out to be a Ken. But she's so sweet. She's got the head that goes up and so uh -huh. forward. Her posture is completely different. But yeah, she's a sweetie. Honey, I'm going to give her back to you. She says, oh, but she has five toes. You can probably see them. See, they're all the way back there. Yeah. It's so different. And she has feathers on her legs, so she's going to have little tufty feather legs all the way. Most of the time, if they have feathers on their legs when they're this age, they're going to be one of those ones that have feathers on their feet. Thank you, see, good girl. Thank you, sweetheart. Gloria wants to show you them every week. Uh, we'll have to show chicken progress every week, definitely. And that could be on the podcast. Until they get big, and then they get little... They're, they're different when they're big. That's okay. Yeah, they're, they're kind of hard to hold. They're our chicken. <laughs> chicken love. They're going to be cuddlers. There you go. We're, we're like hippies. We're just out there in the chicken coop meditating. Totally. They are absolutely adorable. <laughs> and we're so excited because we've wanted chickens for a really long time. But we figure, what better year? We're going to be home. Yep. <laughs> One thing we know for sure is we're, we're hanging out for the next few Oh, what'd you say? The baby behind you? The purple or the bee? Oh, probably the bee because you couldn't see the purple, huh? So this is my St. Patrick's Day bee. Isn't she cute? Oh, I, I finished her this morning and I am beside myself in love. Oh, the dog? Is there a dog behind me? Hunter is right here. But you can't see her. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm totally blanking. Oh, you mean... The pillow? My son's crochet is going pretty good. Um, how, how are you liking crochet, oh, no, the, the bee is down. Down <laughs> bee. Um. I do sort of like it, although I'm not fast, so I need and patience. So the, Aww. My patience is not a virtue. <laughs> he says he's impatient with crochet right now, <laughs> but he is enjoying it as he's learning. Oh, he would sit out on the table outside. How do they beg for food? <laughs> If we get anything, you know it's going to be chickens that beg for food. Everything in our house begs for food. <laughs> we have a cat that comes indoors. Screaming. Screaming. <laughs> like the world is ending every three hours. We feed her. She uses the bathroom. And, and goes. she goes back out. <laughs> That's all. She wants to come in at night, so she's warm and safe and cuddly. And then all day long, she just goes out. And we're just like, okay, please live a long time. But she's, she's got us wrapped around her little claw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're like, 
Oh, he's gone now. Or maybe Hunter. Oh, was there a dog? Like, was it Hunter? Was he like sneaking up behind me when I had the chicken? No, I don't think I so. I bet, he, well, he's right here. Hunter, oh, maybe here. he was. Come here. This is Hunter. He it, he wants to eat the chicken. Yes. Oh, oh hello, Winnie. Woo. He says, woo, woo, I'm in a bag. There we go. This is Hunter. He's my puppy. He's in trouble because he kind of nipped at dad a minute ago, which he's never, ever done. And he knows he's in trouble. Yeah, he's got a look right he's now. He's got a look of terror. He, it's like af, it's like afterward when you know you've done something wrong, you just have that guilt. He's just like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've made poor choices. He's, he's getting old. You can see all the gray on his face now. Yes. He used to be all completely black. Yeah, he was completely black. Oh. There. But yeah, he's my baby. Oh, he made great chicken and dumplings. <laughs> I, I keep on preparing my son. I'm like, we have no idea what to expect. So we're just like, we're going to try. And we're staying really positive. They're going to yeah. live long, healthy chicken lives. Yes, we're going to do our I best. I mean, do we have a ton of vultures and hawks right in the backyard? Oh, yeah. Oh, a ton. Chickens, I mean, hawks, vultures. Yeah, there's a lot of birds of prey out there's here. There's a lot of birds of prey right behind my house. And eagles. Sometimes. Geese terrify me. Geese have chased me through parks too many times. I could never, ever bring them home. I think that they would guard my back door and not let me go in my own backyard. <laughs> and I would listen. I wouldn't go back there. See, your geese is my horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rover 2. I love the pit bull mixes. You know what I saw on TikTok is the Cane Corso. They're huge, muscular, and they just look like the biggest babies ever. I, I don't think the husband will ever allow that to happen in our house. <laughs> no, too, too much hair. They didn't have a ton of hair. It was it looked like a massive pit bull. Oh, okay. Like pit bull times three. It was a massive dog. It was adorable. Oh, how sweet. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Hunter, I'm gonna push you off so I can crochet then. He says no. He's the biggest mommy dog. Yeah. He just, oh my, he's like, as long as you're holding me, daddy okay. can't kick me out <laughs> into the dark, dark night. It's like 75 outside. He'd be perfectly fine outside. As long as he doesn't get picked up by, you know, a vulture or a hawk. I think he's gotten too big for that. He's about 40 pounds. Yeah. They would struggle. <laughs> <laughs> dogs just a hoot they totally get you we lost our pickles last year mm. and she was a black lab and we adopted her older and we knew that we probably wouldn't have a long time we wanted to adopt a big dog that was older oh good night Laurel. you have a great day hopefully we'll see you on tuesday oh the pomeranian and australian shepherd i've seen those those are amazing <laughs> They're just fluffy little nuggets. I have a grand palm. My son has a Pomeranian. Oh, she had two potbelly pigs. Elsie. Oh my gosh, what oh. was the other one's name? <laughs> potbelly pig with attitude, huh? Yes. Oh, it's so hard when you lose a puppy. <sighs> then I didn't know if we'd be able to do another one but then I was totally able to do another one and then we adopted a puppy from the pound and it passed away from Parvo which was like the end of us for a while and then a couple months later we were ready and we adopted again and we got Dixie who 
is gone now. No, not gone. She's, she's probably with the chickens. She's, she's probably babysitting the chickens. We have a hound dog, and she's a total mother to the chickens. She just watches them and growls at any of the animals, the cat or the other dog. And, aww, Hunter, I'm going to have to have you go, honey. I can't crochet like this, man. Oh, pretty quick. Okay. Who says why not? <laughs> why can't I crochet with you on my lap? I don't know. Good question. Oh. Uh, very cool. Okay. Oh, what in this? Oh. Oh. You're saying nice, Nora. Oh, very cool. Well, I'm going to finish up my colors and I'll be sharing those next week. Oh, I hope you get one. They're just, they're a lot of work, but they're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to be without a dog again. Although I do love the cat. Yeah. The cat's awesome if she would stay around. <laughs> I miss her when she's gone. <laughs> I'm going to finish up my hat and then I will share it next week. I'll be back on Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. Central. And aside from that, I have a couple tutorials that are coming out this week. Oh my gosh, her other pig's name was Herman, so it was Herman and Elsie. Oh wow. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute. But thank you for joining us. We'll see you all in a couple days, and you have a great weekend. Bye. Bye, guys.